People often ask why things like belly bands, ulti clips, and fabric clips don't conceal very well, so in this video we're going to explain exactly why. Simply put, the reason they don't conceal very well is because they don't apply enough force to the face of the holster to cause it to tuck into the body. In order to get our gun to conceal the way that we would like, we want to get it to lay flat against our body. If any part of the gun is tipping away from the body, then that part is likely going to print through our clothing. So we apply things like wings and wedges to our holster in order to get that part of the gun in closer to the body. But if there is not enough pressure to push onto those things, they simply can't work the way that they are originally designed to. So even if the holster has concealment features like wings or wedges, they don't really do much good without the force against them. Generally speaking, if the face of the holster is soft or elastic, it's probably not going to give you enough leverage to really interact with the holster concealment features, even though you might still get some kind of small benefit from it. So let's say that we've got a gun top down view and we're going to say that the holster conforms to the body. We've still got that difference between the grip and the body, but what we want is for the gun to conform to the body. The curvature of the holster doesn't really buy you anything in terms of concealment. If the holster curves to conform to the body, then the gun itself will always remain tangent to the shape of the body. One thing to watch out for is sometimes soft or elastic holsters attempt to tuck the grip of the gun into the body by completely covering it with fabric, which kind of sort of works, but you often will lose reliable access to the gun, which is an unacceptable and really even unnecessary trade-off when there are better ways to accomplish the same thing. The whole point of carrying a gun is so that you can use it in an emergency, and if you can't get to it quickly or reliably, then you assume all of the risk of carrying a gun, but you get less of the benefit. When you evaluate a holster's concealment features, try to imagine the forces that actually make them work. So how does the holster apply force? How does that force interact with the concealment features? And what makes it stay where you put it? Try to kind of visualize that. Does the holster rely solely on the clothing it's being attached to? Does it require the use of a belt? Or does it have its own built-in mechanism for applying force? Hopefully this video gave you a better framework for selecting a platform for safe, comfortable, and reliable concealed carry. If you want to learn more about concealment features and concealment mechanics that you can apply to your current holster system, you can check out our concealment playlist or click on the link down below titled Basic Concealment Mechanics.